Dash, Unix Shell Dash is a Unix shell and command language written by Brian Fox for the GNU project as a free software replacement for the Born Shell. First released in 1989, it has been distributed widely as the default login shell for most Linux distributions and Apple's Mac OS, formerly. A version is also available for Windows 10. It is also the default user shell in Solaris 11. Dash is a command processor that typically runs in a text window where the user types commands that cause actions. Dash can also read and execute commands from a file, called a shell script. Like all Unix shells, it supports file name globbing, wildcard matching, piping, here documents, command substitution, variables, and control structures for condition testing and iteration. The keywords, syntax, and other basic features of the language are all copied from SH. Other features, for example, history, are copied from CSH and KSH. Dash is a POSIX compliant shell, but with a number of extensions. The shell's name is an acronym for Born Again Shell, a pun on the name of the Born Shell that it replaced and on the common term Born Again. A security hole in Bash dating from version 1.03, August 1989, dubbed Shellshock, was discovered in early September 2014 and quickly led to a range of attacks across the internet. Patches to fix the bugs were made available soon after the bugs were identified, but not all computers have been updated. Brian Fox began coding Bash on January 10, 1988 after Richard Stallman became dissatisfied with the lack of progress being made by a prior developer. Stallman and the Free Software Foundation, FSF, considered a free shell that could run existing shell scripts so strategic to a completely free system built from and GNU code that this was one of the few projects they funded themselves, with Fox undertaking the work as an employee of FSF Fox released Bash as a beta, version .99 on June 8, 1989 and remained the primary maintainer until sometime between mid-1992 and mid-1994, when he was laid off from FSF and his responsibility was transitioned to another early contributor, Chet Ramey. Since then, Bash has become by far the most popular shell among users of Linux, becoming the default interactive shell on the operating system's various distributions, although Almquist shell may be the default scripting shell, and on Apple's Mac OS. Bash has also been ported to Microsoft Windows and distributed with Siglin and MinGW, to DOS by the DJGPP project, to Novell Netware and to Android via various terminal emulation applications. In September 2014, Stefan Chazelles, a Unix slash Linux specialist, discovered a security bug in the program. The bug, first disclosed on September 24, was named Shellshock and assigned the numbers CVE 2014-6271, CVE 2014-6277 and CVE 2014-7169. The bug was regarded as severe, since CGI scripts using Bash could be vulnerable, enabling arbitrary code execution. The bug was related to how Bash passes function definitions to subshells through environment variables. The bash command syntax is a superset of the born shell command syntax. Bash supports brace expansion, command line completion, basic debugging and exception handling, using trap, among others features. Bash can execute the vast majority of born shell scripts without modification, with the exception of born shell scripts stumbling into fringe syntax behavior interpreted differently in bash or attempting to run a system command Majinganu or bash built in. Etc. Bash command syntax includes ideas drawn from the corn shell, KSH, and the C shell, CSH, such as command line editing, command history, the directory stack, the codice underscore one and codice underscore two variables, and POSIX command substitution syntax codice underscore three. When a user presses the tab key within an interactive command shell, Bash automatically uses command line completion, since beta version of 2.04. To match partly typed program names, file names, and variable names. The Bash command line completion system is very flexible and customizable, and is often packaged with functions that complete arguments and file names for specific programs and tasks. Bash's syntax has many extensions lacking in the Born shell. Bash can perform integer calculations, arithmetic evaluation, without spawning external processes. It uses the codice underscore 4 command and the codice underscore 5 variable syntax for this purpose. Its syntax simplifies IO redirection. For example, it can redirect standard output, stout, and standard error, stare, 
At the same time using the codice underscore 6 operator dot this is simpler to type than the Born shell equivalent codice underscore 7. Bash supports process substitution using the codice underscore 8 and codice underscore 9 syntax, which substitutes the output of, or input to, a command where a file name is normally used. This is implemented through slash proc slash fd slash unnamed pipes on systems tat support that, or via temporary named pipes where necessary. When using the function keyword, bash function declarations are not compatible with born slash corn slash POSIX scripts, the corn shell has the same problem when using function, but bash accepts the same function declaration syntax as the born and corn shells, and is POSIX conformant. Because of these and other differences, bash shell scripts are rarely runnable under the born or corn shell interpreters unless deliberately written with that compatibility in mind, which is becoming less common as Linux becomes more widespread. But in POSIX mode, Bash conforms with POSIX more closely. Bash supports here documents. Since version 2.05b Bash can redirect standard input, spin, from a here string using the codice underscore 10 operator. Bash 3.0 supports in process regular expression matching using a syntax reminiscent of Perl. In February 2009 Bash 4.0, introduced support for associative arrays. Associative arrays allow a fake support for multidimensional, indexed, arrays, in a similar way to AWK. Bash 4.x has not been integrated in newer version of macOS due to license restrictions. Associative array example. Brace expansion, also called alternation, is a feature copied from the C shell. It generates a set of alternative combinations. Generated results need not exist as files. The results of each expanded string are not sorted in left to right order as preserved users should not use brace expansions in portable shell scripts, because the born shell does not produce the same output. When brace expansion is combined with wildcards, the braces are expanded first, and then the resulting wildcards are substituted normally. Hence, a listing of JPEG and PNG images in the current directory could be obtained using. In addition to alternation, Brace expansion can be used for sequential ranges between two integers or characters separated by double dots. Newer versions of Bash allow a third integer to specify the increment. When brace expansion is combined with variable expansion, the variable expansion is performed after the brace expansion, which in some cases may necessitate the use of the codice underscore 11 built in. Thus, when Bash starts, it executes the commands in a variety of dot files. Though similar to bash shell script commands, which have execute permission enabled and an interpreter directive like codice underscore 12, the initialization files used by bash require neither. Elements of bash derived from the born shell and csh. These allow limited startup file sharing with the born shell and provide some startup features familiar to csh users. The skeleton codice underscore 13 below is compatible with the born shell and gives semantics similar to CSH for the codice underscore 14 and codice underscore 15. The codice underscore 16 are tests to see if the file name exists and is readable, simply skipping the part after the codice underscore 17 if it's not. Some versions of Unix and Linux contain bash system startup scripts, generally under the codice underscore 18 directories. Bash calls these as part of its standard initialization, but other startup files can read them in a different order than the documented Bash startup sequence. The default content of the root user's files may also have issues, as well as the skeleton files the system provides to new user accounts upon setup. The startup scripts that launch the X window system may also do surprising things with the user's Bash startup scripts in an attempt to set up user environment variables before launching the window manager. These issues can often be addressed using a codice underscore 19 or codice underscore 20 file to read the codice underscore 21, which provides the environment variables that Bash shell window spawned from the window manager need, such as term or gnome terminal. Invoking bash with the codice underscore 22 option or stating codice underscore 23 in a script causes bash to conform very closely to the POSIX 1003.2 standard. Bash shell scripts intended for portability should at least take into account the born shell it intends to replace. Bash has certain features that the traditional born shell lacks. They include A bashism is a portion of bash code that does not run properly on other Unix shells. Bash uses Redline to provide keyboard shortcuts for command line editing using the default, Emacs, key bindings. Vi bindings can be enabled by running codice underscore 24. 
The bash shell has two modes of execution for commands, batch, and concurrent mode. To execute commands in batch, i.e., in sequence, they must be separated by the character, or on separate lines. In this example, when command 1 is finished, command 2 is executed. You can also have a background execution of command 1 using, simple endearment at the end of your execution command, and process will be executed in background returning immediately control to your shell and allowing you to keep executing commands. Or to have a concurrent execution of 2 command 1 and command 2, they must be executed in the bash shell in the following way. In this case command 1 is executed in the background and symbol, returning immediately control to the shell that executes command 2 in the foreground. A process can be stopped and return control to bash by typing while the process is running in the foreground. A list of all processes, both in the background and stopped, can be achieved by running code say underscore 25 colon in the output, the number in brackets refers to the job ID. The plus sign signifies the default process for code say underscore 26 and code say underscore 27. The text running and stopped refer to the process state. The last string is the command that started the process. The state of a process can be changed using various commands. The code say underscore 27 command brings a process to the foreground, while the code say underscore 26 sets a stop at process running in the background. Code say underscore 26 and code say underscore 27 can take a job ID as their first argument, to specify the process to act on doubt without one. They use the default process, identified by A plus sign in the output of code say underscore 25. The code say underscore 33 command can be used to end a process prematurely, by sending it a signal. The job ID must be specified after a percent sign. Bash supplies conditional execution command separators that make execution of a command contingent on the exit code set by a precedent command. For example, where slash do underscore something is only executed if the cd change directory command was successful, returned an exit status of zero and the echo command would only be executed if either the cd or the slash do underscore something command return an error, non-zero exit status. For all commands the exit status is stored in the special variable code say underscore 34. Bash also supports and forms of conditional command evaluation. An external command called bash bug reports bash shell bugs. When the command is invoked, it brings up the user's default editor with a form to fill and dot the form is mailed to the bash maintainers or optionally to other email addresses. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.